first of all first things first guys to keep a natural hair is not easy to maintain it it's not easy as you can see for me i have volume right i don't think i my length is actually lengthening enough if you know what i mean <laughs> so this is me after um removing my braids or taking out my braids i decided to take you guys through the process of how i care for my hair at least to maintain volume to maintain you know i don't have edges issue thank god i have hair i'm even bothered look at the way hair is just falling out of my hair and this naturally happens when you have not washed your hair or treated it as should i've been wearing my braid for about three weeks or thereabouts so it's only normal and natural for my hair to break like lots of hair fell out of my i mean if i my hair caught i was even scared but well there's a lot from where it's coming from so i partitioned my hair into four as usual so it can be easy for me to detangle this is a process of me detangling i haven't washed it i just need to do what i need this thing so that it's easy for me else hmm, it will be a battlefield for me in the sense that i will find it very difficult to be able to even wash the hair when i'm you know trying to wash it so normally you partition it into four see hair see the amount of hair coming out from just one section that is how serious and crazy natural hair is this is the struggle for me i don't even know the battle i don't even know which battle to choose but man i'm most of the time i'm tempted to just you know what retouch this hair because what is this <laughs> but what will i do what i've started i started i just have to face it squarely i am not liking it but it is what it is so yeah i'm actually doing what i need to do to just make sure this hair just retains the volume it has basically right no matter the amount of hair f that falls off from my hair head it is still going to remain full i have volume like i said if it's hair i'm not looking for hair because i'm a hairy hairy person and i'm so grateful to god that i'm i don't have good hairs because it would have been terrible just look at me see what i'm doing see hairs do you know the amount of i will show you at the end of the day the level the amount of hair that fell out of this my head jeez i was even scared it's enough to even <laughs> it's enough to cover um anybody's bald head though. no jokes so these are the steps i take you pull water first i now put my oil then comb through with my white to comb right just so that this is a detangling step you must do this step before you're washing your hair anybody that is keeping that your hair take note of this you have to detangle you have to detangle it is important that you detangle just so you are not struggling with it when you are washing your hair it is important and do not be scared about the hair falling out trust me it is only natural why because your hair has not been treated in a while i just took out braids so it's only expected for the hair to be like this like this is three much but it doesn't happen every time especially if i wear my hair and i just pack my hair like that or style it the way i want and i wash it whenever i want it doesn't fall out this way so this is it though just 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 look at me packing hair <laughs> if i show you if i show you how <laughs> the amount that fell out you will be amazed most of you are wondering ah, ah my hair breaks out a lot i'm wearing natural hair is it normal oh yes it is normal it is normal for your hair to fall out and break trust me with natural hair even when you are washing your hair you will still see lots of them fall off you just look at it, my hair i have a longer back hair that is just how my hair has always been my the back of my hair has always been longer no matter what i do the back always takes the the glory it also is curlier the back oh my god it is so curly much more than the front and i don't know why <laughs> i don't know why there's no remedy to it i just want to think it i just want to take it as nature i have a lot of hair on my head 
I'm even saying, hey, I'm grateful to God because there are many people that are looking for it. Yes, and I'm not complaining, but damn, can I cope? I don't know. Let's see how it goes. At least I've been wearing this hair for five years, so maybe I can because for want to wear the, for, for want to want keep natural hair five years, and I'm only praying that ha make pregnancy no no chop off this my hair, oh. but I don't think so because I'm gonna try as much as possible to maintain it because I believe that whatever you take care of, whatever you take care of, definitely, definitely would always be remain beautiful will always blossom you cannot actually water you cannot actually just plant a, a, a seed and expect it to just grow you need to water it so that's my belief so god really it will not <laughs> i will not neglect it because that's the beginning and end of your hair remaining in fact becoming terrible so guys this is it though just do this and you thank me later so this is see hair this is even just a figment of what i'm talking. look at the hair on the on the sink just by the side i'm just packing and keeping it at one it was a lot it was a lot it was a lot i can't even begin to see how much hair that came out of this hair and i don't really like it everywhere see me trying to take my time to remove <laughs> To remove remove hair and keep them i don't really like it scattered everywhere i don't really like to see hair even on the bathroom floor it was just everywhere gosh i'm like yeah this hair falling out like this eh hmm. <laughs> look at me back in there it was a lot and the more i'm doing it the more it's flying and sticking around oh my god but this is what you this is what we go through this is what we go through to maintain it's really not easy me i know self even me telling you this it's not easy to keep this natural hair thing on my life i don't know how many times i gave up but i ended up just something just makes tells me just keep going just keep going don't worry you know I'm happy to have products that actually work well with the hair so i am not thinking about oh my hair is too strong my hair is, i'm able to handle it it's not strong it's actually very soft maybe because of my hair type or uh, it is my hair is very see my hands are scratching oh I, I injured myself in the process is that easy or my people, I'm not discouraging you, but just use this video and console yourself because this thing eh, may be you. Anyway, what I was using, I was actually using oil, light oil, jojoba oil. Just put water, apply the oil, and the tangle come through just two simple recipes i'm not i'm not a product junkie it's just simple simple stuff nothing more just stats detangle my hair detangled and detangled and detangled in readiness to wash it and after doing this i waited for about five minutes for the oil to soak through my hair follicles and you know do the job that it was made to do so that see hey my hair was still falling it was still falling it was still falling out my goodness this is the hair care routine guys it's really not always fun so sometimes i don't even touch the hair for two three days i just pack it the way i like because who has time to be going through this process but just that's the price you pay if you really want to keep your natural hair and make it healthy looking this is what i do for my own self i'm not saying it's a general universal style to what works for you but for me this works for me 100 percent, 100 percent. and so i was done and you know packing the hair as usual my mom this one shook but that's it <laughs> You need to see the hair that fell out of my head. Now look at the chunk of hair. 
that came off my head this just 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 look at this is all my hair after the tangling guys anyway here i was done washing my hair now i have to moisturize it you know moisturize it my hair came back to life i felt refreshed you know and you can see the level of shrinkage my hair shrinked like in fact some like hey eh? is it easy it's natural hair wahala anyway the next step was to you know moisturize you must moisturize your hair you have to you just have to so that the weather the weather whatever your hair is protected from the the external external the environment basically so you need to moisturize your hair our natural hair thrives on moisture so moisture it must have so i started with my um lotion hair lotion moisturizing cream you know apply that make sure it got, you know i'm supposed to have divided this hair into sections but more I don't have that energy, so I just did it anyhow, made sure that it entered every nook and cranny of my hair. Next up was I just applied my oil. Yeah, I think that's my organ oil. Now, this is the next thing I do. Okay, I use that heated brush to detangle the hair more, stretch it a bit. Oh yes, this has not been a lifestyle, so it's just something I said that of recent. It just saves me time and the stress of having to comb. Or more. Some people say they don't comb, they really finger the tangle. Anyway, me, I don't finger the tangle anything because this my hair is too thick. You will not understand. I need help. If I thought I go to a salon, maybe they can do that finger the tangling. But for me, to save me the stress, I use hot combo, hot brush actually. That's a hot brush. What it does is just the heat melts every tangle. Okay? Every potential tangle. So I don't have to go through any form of stress. You know, trying to comb my hair and then at the end of the day my hair scalp will be pinning me because most of the time when I use you know, try to comb beads and make it look presentable. My scalp hurts me for days. Like I have a very sensitive scalp that is very, very prone to pain easily. So that's why I really make my hair. I don't make my hair like that too. If I make my hair today, the next if I make it again, <laughs> I must get I must have a dream. <laughs> so that's how because of what scalp i give my scalps break a break it's because the process of even caring for your natural hair it takes a lot of scalp work and that means includes massaging a lot of touchy touchy on the hair scalp so it really needs time to heal so what i was trying to do was partition the hair and do what what do they call it to actually brush it with my electric comb brush just so it um helps make the hair smoother and all of that and easy to handle so now i apply that oil because the hair also is another way of you can use a heat protect um hair heat protecting spray or you can use your oils it doesn't matter it will do the job it protects your hair follicles so this is me doing testing I think this is the first time I'll, well, the second time I was using this hairbrush. I don't even remember. But anyway, this is what I do. It just makes my life easy. Okay? Please protect your hair before you're using this comb, heat brush or comb rolls, whatever you're using. Protect your hair from it. Use oil if you don't have money for heat spray. Or use the heat spray. Spray on your hair. And you're good to go okay specific oils like argan oil and jojoba oil helps protect your hair from heat like this one okay it says not advisable to use heat on your hair oh no but i don't care i don't use it every time it's just when it's necessary 
needed more oil so that's what I do do with and so I just did it the way I could man I didn't have the energy anymore for partitioning my pick I just applied and started the work <laughs> this thing saved my life that day I enjoy the feel it just the heat just does the job for you from like it does the job it's not easy now sitting with my hair what this heats it's a brush okay it's not actually a straightener so i just use it and just to stretch the heat to stretch the thing because it's still tangled so now the cocoa be that <laughs> you guys this is how i actually care for my natural hair so i was just doing it the way i knew how and making it easy for me tackle the back because that's where the most tangles always gather because i have a very curly hair at the back so now the that is what we have we go through every freaking day it's not easy i don't do this every day I, as i did this for three days it allowed me enjoy my hair in peace so you don't do the heat thing every day but at least it gives you the living you, you just you're able to pack your hair do whatever you want to do like as if you touched it it just helps melt the hair it melts the hair completely <laughs> and this is the result of the styling so thank you for watching guys bye